Bashkawalik, hello. I'm glad you're back. I've got a fun one for us this time. Okay, last thing we're going to make is mukbi o bakal kash, or mukbi pollo. Mukbi pollo means buried chicken. We make it in honor of someone who has passed away in the last year. Delicious, aromatic, all the goods. This is the peep. It's an underground oven and it makes everything taste delicious. It takes a while to heat up though, so we need to light it before we do anything else. All right. Add wood to the peep until you have a roaring fire. Good. While that's heating up, let's start on the food. We're doing back, the meat first. So come over here. Four cubes. We are good at this. Oh my god, the meat is not even. <laughs> ah, good. The bib is nice and hot. I give up on the proper slices. Place the cubes into a clay pot and cover with water. Cover? I'm just following the instructions. Add a spoon of garlic and salt to marinate the meat cubes. Now bring the marinated meat over to the comal. So far, nothing uh, weird. Use wood to start a fire under the comal. Boil the meat in the clay pot on the comal until cooked. Once the meat is cooked, carefully spoon out just the meat and place it into the mixing bowl. Save the liquid in the pot and continue boiling. Mm -hmm. Okay, the comal is hot. <laughs> that works. <laughs> you know, whatever. Another pot, place a layer of corn, water to cover, and one spoon of lime powder. Place on the comal and bring to a boil. I'm try harding this one. the corn mixture to the comal so you can boil it. It may seem odd to you to boil corn with taan, the lime powder, but it's actually the most important part. If we didn't, we wouldn't be able to make the dough or even digest the corn at all. Meat water, lime water. <laughs> Once the corn is cooked, Drain the corn into the colander and grind the wet corn with the cob on the metate to make mass. I think I'm doing good so far. Now you'll see that masa isn't just for tortillas. Once the masa is produced, spoon out one ball and leave the rest on the metate. Add a new, smaller masa ball to the leftover liquid. Who's stuck in there? Grind the achiote in the molcajete with the tejolote. 
Kiyote, or as we call it, Kiwi, has a pretty mild flavor. But there's nothing mild about its color. In fact, you know modern cheddar cheese? They use a Chiyote to get that bright orange color. Oh, wow. <laughs> Frispens. Slices of onion and cut the chili peppers in half with the knife the long way. Long way. Okay, well. <laughs> Good. Now bring the sliced onions in the ink. That's chopped pepper to the comal. Place the maya coal aside, and on the comal, dissolve three cubes of pork lard. Hi. Once the pork lard is heated, Fry the onion slices and the chili pepper pieces. When they're done, add them to the maya col. Hanal Pishan lasts for three days. The first day, we honor the souls of children. The second day is for honoring the souls of adults. And the third day is for all souls. Calm down. <laughs> Boil the meat, sauce, and vegetables until everything is cooked through. Then set aside. I guess. Don't fucking fall now. <laughs> Empty the comal and dissolve three cubes of pork lard. Would be nice to get a perfect ending. <laughs> Place the remaining masa in a bowl and mix it with one spoon of melted lard and one spoon of salt. Oh, that's very interesting. Masa dough in half with a knife. Place half of the now salted dough. Hmm. Now that's a nice masa bowl. And a bowl is for filling, so go get that meat mixture you've been working on. So much work. Pour all the filling and sauce into the masa bowl and add a few epasote leaves. Did masa like absorb it? I think so. Pin to flatten the rest of the masa dough. Once flattened, add it to the top of the bowl to seal the masa bowl. Ring step banana leaves are great for cooking because they're flexible and waterproof. They also add a nice aroma to the dish. 
Ah, ok. In. We've been cooking with people like this for a long, long time. It's a lot of work, but I think it's worth it. When you don't have meat very often, you might as well go all out, huh? This recipe is fascinating, and I feel like I would enjoy it. Using the shovel, place dirt piles on top of the banana leaves. What? Once cooked, shovel off the dirt piles and remove the banana leaves. I don't know. I mean, there was a sound effect, so I guess we just... Let's hope it's fine. Use the knife to cut the ties. Uh. Place the meal on the serving table and ring the bell. Oh, hopefully it's fine. It was a lot of work. There we go. Okay, let's see how you did. I think I did fine. Well, that was fast. All right, this is acceptable. You're getting there. No, I thought it was nice. Yeah, so I had to wait up until it's gonna cook. I wasn't sure because I thought this first sound effect was the mark that it was done, but not really. Okay, so then it would be like four stars, I assume. Oh, well, what's next though? You've been able to gather so many recipes from all over the world. You truly are a master ghost chef now. Indeed, bravo. Be sure to come back and cook up some Greek masterpieces. Oh, no, you don't. They're going to come back with me first. I've got so much more I want to share. Don't listen to them. You come back and see me first, yeah? Well, until then, thank you. These recipes are very special to me. I hope you'll continue to pass them on. There you have it. Now see that you try out some of those recipes in your own kitchen. And hey, you can come practice anytime you'd like. And credits in the recipe book. <laughs> okay, so the whole concept and idea, love it. There were some mechanics that I was not sure if they work properly or just like, you know, consistently. Sometimes I was just cutting things in certain direction and they just transform into other things. Then some indicators with cooked stuff and inconsistent instructions that are sometimes missing even the steps. The whole game is fun for like a chef. It's unique in its own way and I wish in the future we'll get other cuisines to try out. Like just learning stuff and transferring it to real life is something that I appreciate really. The whole thing, keeping recipes alive, pretty much sums up this game and we'll see if we'll come back to it but had so much fun.